Hello and welcome to this tour that we're going to do of a really cool Fiat Ducato camper van conversion by Soul Campers. We've been staying in it for 10 days and it feels just like home. So inside, let me shut the door. We've got the front living area. Obviously these two chairs spin round so when you're driving you can drive facing forwards. Um, they're super duper comfy and it means that four people can all chill out in the one bit together. Above me there's a storage area which has my probably one of my favourite parts of the van. It's the table. It comes out really easily. Basically it's just a clip on mechanism onto the wall here just do that it's on there and there it goes so four people can sit around here have dinner and whatnot chop your food do all that sort of things it's really great and it's so easy to put away and stuff so it's not cumbersome to use it there is so much storage in here it's ridiculous here you've got a few pots and pans and some food up here we've got the silver screens um, and the table obviously other things can go there too there's a really nice um, what do you call it like a roof vent thing skylight that opens all the way up you can actually even stick your head out and have a good view if you don't want to go outside to see what's going on under the seat here with the 12 volts on there is a fantastic boiler system you literally just twist it Wait a few seconds, it lights up green. Leave it 15 minutes and you can have a hot shower. Two hot showers and we still have more than enough warm water left over. Cab curtains are always important in a van, I personally think. It just gives you that little bit of added privacy if you don't want to put silver screens up or just prefer it that way. And this van has them in a very snazzy material. <laughs> There's a 12 volt command center up here. When you turn it on, you have access to the lights throughout the van, you can turn the tap on, and you can also see the battery status for the car and the leisure battery, the amount of water you've got left, and also it's flashing to let me know our grey water is full, so we need to empty that pronto. Follow me to the kitchen, and we have got a fully functional sink with a few bits in that I haven't washed up yet. With the um, boiler, it means you can have hot water, which is just the absolute joy for washing up. Everything washes up better in hot water. The cooker is just under here. It's a two burner, which is fabulous for making big meals that me and Theo like. <laughs> um, two hobs, burn really well. Everything that you need. You don't really need more than two hobs. Carrying on with the kitchen stuff, there's a drawer full of all your utensils that you'll need. Everything cooking wise is supplied by Soul Campers which is great because you don't want to be going to a shop and having to buy all these things that you're only going to need for a couple of days or a week anyway. Likewise all this up here, we had some oil and all that sort of stuff here. It's been a joy to have fresh coffee every single morning, let me tell you. Um, we've just got more food and pots and pans and plates and things in there. Here's the fridge, it's a fantastic size. As you can see, we have rammed it full of stuff. <laughs> it can run off a few different power sources, which is pretty useful. At the moment, I've got it on gas. You can also have it on the battery when you're driving, or you can have it on 240 volt when you're plugged in, or you can have it off. Like I said, it's on gas right now. It keeps it nice and cool, which is good when it's really warm outside like it is here in Portugal. I'm sure you're all wondering what this is in here. It's a closet. No, it's not really. It is another really cool feature. A fully fledged bathroom with a warm shower and a mirror. Hello. <laughs> um, it's got everything you'd need in a bathroom, in a van anyway. Toilet, which is all very wet because we've just had our morning showers. And then in the bedroom, I'll scoot back. We have got more storage and also you might be wondering what these funny things are. It basically means that the camper can be double beds. Uh, two double beds can be had if more than two people are gonna be renting the van, which is pretty cool because these beds are really comfy and massive. Um, it's quite popular for vans like this to have beds this way. It's such a fabulous 
um, use of space. Like you've got a bed out at all times. You can just dive in bed whenever you want. And you've got so much storage space under the bed. It's amazing. Um, and these windows, it's nice to be able to just peek out, have them open, do whatever. It's just good to have natural light really. So another thing that me and Theo really like about this van is the windows. If you have them open and you want to breeze but no bugs, you can just pull this straight down and you are protected. <laughs> and my favourite part, full on blackout curtain and complete privacy. So it's got a bit windy, sorry about that, but there's some things to show you out here. This is where you fill up the drinking water and the shower water and all that kind of stuff. And then there's the outdoor shower portal, which is really nifty, especially if you're a surfer and you're all sandy and you don't want to go inside. There's a ladder, which is great for getting really good views up high and also for storing things on top like surfboards and what have you. To open the back, it's really simple. You can access the outdoor shower from here. It's just under there. Obviously you can access all the under the bed stuff. There's a safe just under there, which is really handy for putting your passports and valuable stuff in that you don't want to carry with you all the time. And there's also a little table and chairs for you to sit outside and enjoy the Portuguese atmosphere at your leisure. So that's everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.